Analog digital converters are widely used in measuring equipment, home appliances, computer equipment, radio devices, medical equipment, telephony and other areas. We will discuss the most common connection circuits of ADCs used in analog digital systems. The first circuit is designed to fix the moment when the input analog signal exceeds a given threshold voltage. The circuit provides an output signal positive edge when the input analog signal is greater than the set level and this level is specified by the digital code of the threshold. The threshold code is compared with output codes of ADC using a circuit of comparator codes. The output signal of the comparator of codes is recorded in the trigger by RDY signal with ADC, eliminating the effect of short pulses occurring at the output of the comparator at the time of change of input codes. The use of the trigger delays the output signal for one clock cycle. ADC is also used in computational schemes of the amplitude of the input analog signal. A code from the ADC output by RDY signal is written in the register with the write enable input in the event that the current code value is greater than the code previously recorded in the register. As a result, after the first period of the input signal, the register will have a code of the input signal amplitude. During the period of our ADC conversion, the comparator of codes and the register must have time to come into action. The most common use of ADC is conversion of the input signal into a stream of codes, and codes are usually written in the buffer memory. In this case, the most suitable buffer is the one with unidirectional periodic mode of operation, that is, first the array of sample codes of the input signal is written in the buffer memory, and then this array is read for further processing. This is how, for example, a digital oscilloscope redesigned to monitor analog signals on the screen is designed. The RDY signal with the ADC is used as a strobe writing in the buffer memory. Only the last scheme, which we will discuss, can double the speed of the ADC, rather, raise twice the frequency of writing sample codes of the input signal to the buffer memory. The idea of this scheme is very simple. There are two ADCs and two buffers that work in turns. For example, even samples of the input signal are processed by one ADC with its buffer and the odd ones by the other ADC with its buffer. As a result, memorizing of the input signal codes is done with twice the frequency of conversion of each ADC. For example, if each ADC and each buffer run at 10 MHz, the resulting conversion frequency is 20 MHz. These schemes we have talked about are greatly simplified. For their practical implementation, one is required to know not only the digital circuitry, but also analog and analog digital circuitry, as well, of course, as characteristics of specific chips of ADC.